Hey guys, FluggleFTK here. So we've just had the uh, reveal, uh, which a lot of people have been looking forward to, myself included as a uh, Pale Moon enthusiast, of our new VR from the Violus Delia booster set. Uh, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about it, uh, show the skill if you've not already seen it, and just give my personal thoughts on it. Its first skill is an auto skill, once per turn. At the end of the battle that it attacked, if your soul has no cards, you put two cards from your hand and all of your rearguards into your soul and stand this unit. So it has another skill, um, auto, when it's placed on vanguard, uh, by riding from a grade 3, you soul blast all the cards from your soul and until the end of the turn, he gains 5000 and your opponent cannot call sentinels from his or her hand during the battle that this unit attacked. So, there's quite a lot to this card, it's not quite as straightforward as um, Golden Beast Tamer was, where you're simply uh, losing two from hand to call, two from field to get that um, battle phase multi-attack. So uh, let's let's start with the on-ride skill, so you soul blast all cards from your soul, hmm, now, when you first look at that, that is somewhat questionable, because obviously, uh, the soul for Pale Moon is not just, it's second hand, it's kind of the majority of um, what it plays from at the moment so to lose all of that just to um, gain 5000 and block sentinels if that was all it did that wouldn't be great but the cool thing about this is it is till the end of the turn so obviously um, as it is a unit that can attack twice that's two attacks blocking sentinels without using any drives so it is pretty strong and like with the first one um, like I say you get the stand so my initial thoughts with this are that it is a finisher. I think everyone's going to get that from it. It's not something you kind of, you're not wanting to ride first because you're building up your soul. So to that extent, I still think Golden Beast Tamer is going to be your four of grade three. She's going to be the one you want to ride first just because she's her skill is still really, really good. The way I kind of envision this is the turn before you can, you know you're going to go into this card. You're going to get all the useful stuff out of your soul with Golden Beast Tamer just to sort of make sure you're not losing anything too important and then sort of making sure that you, all your combo pieces are out of soul so you don't lose them so that when you do go into this not only are you only getting rid of triggers from your soul you're also putting back all of your combo pieces so that if you do need to re-ride into uh, Golden Beast Tamer, or even just doing your multi attack through your other rear guards, you still have that option because they're all going back in. Another thought I've had is how much Purple Pisces is going to be integral to the gun salute strategy because when she's put back into Soul, you call her, you call something out, sorry, something else from your Soul by Soul Blasting herself. So when you're putting everything back in, you can soul blast her to give yourself more multi attack for your for the rest of that turn targets for triggers if they do drop two sentinels and i think that's going to be a really strong tactic i think because of that people are going to have to think a little bit more ahead whether or not they're going to be doing their multi attacking through the effect of puppet pieceist or if they are holding out so they can have a a more powerful gun salute turn and i think this would like I, in mo at the moment in my head I'm playing two gun salute so if I see them both damaged or I had to drop one for a perfect guard or something and I'm unlikely to hit gun salute then I can still have that backup strategy of comboing, comboing Alice, Trapezus. Thank you so much for watching guys, stay tuned for more content and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.